Hey guys, back with another video and today I have Harry Potter mystery wands. All right, so I bought three wands. I am four wands away from completing the Death Eaters series. Um, so let's just get right into it and see what these are. All right. First box. Oh. I have dropped everything. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right, we have, well, I don't think this one is called the skull one, but this is beautiful. The detail in that is great here. Let me put it up a little bit closer. So that is the back. I don't know where I did with the papers that were on the box, but it's really pretty in a very like uppity professor sort of way, but it is a Death Eaters one. I don't know why. You know, very high class uppity sort of thing. Yummy, yeah, mean, like, mm -hmm. but yeah, I I like. I almost feel bad. Like you got to cover up the face to swish and flick. And this actually bends. I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom actually bends like a little this way. See? No? Can't tell. It bends a little bit. Oh, well. But anywho, this is the wand. I do not have this one. This one is gorgeous. Do not have it. I think it's the swirl wand. Oh, man, I really wish I would have kept the paper. I just was happy to get the boxes out and not just throw the paper away. Like, why? Why? And then, okay, so they all come with a mask. So here is the mask to that one. And the mask kind of came a little, like, smushed. So I'm trying to, like, push it out just a little bit. But, yeah, that looks kind of horrifying. So we're going to put that one on its stand. It has like pinched together and I can't really get it on there. All right, it's on there. Ooh, that feel, fits really snug and nice. That won't be falling over. So here now I'm trying to cover up my face so I can kind of bring it down and you can see it all. Isn't that cool? All right, so we got that one. That's number one. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's see if I drop anything this time. Oh, and it actually opened up pretty well. Ah, it's just the book, just the book. All right, so this wand I do have already. So I'm actually gonna give this one to my little one, my six-year-old, because he's become um, become quite a character who likes the wands now all of a sudden. Doesn't like anything else about Harry Potter, but he likes the wands. And he did watch the reunion with me and just asked a bunch of questions the whole time. Yes, I do have this one. And I don't think this one was anyone's in particular. I can't remember either. Um, and if you don't know what the mask of that one looks like, here is the mask. Creepy as well. So I will let him put his wand and stuff together however he wants to put it together and stay like give it let him have that whole experience. So I'm not gonna put that on there. I'm actually gonna put it back together. 
There we go. Pulled it back together and put it back in the box. So I'll give him the box and let him have his own little experience with it. He got the Dumbledore wand from the Mystery Patronus wands series um, on his birthday. And his very first wand and he got Albus Dumbledore. I have not received Albus Dumbledore at all in any of the series that I've collected from. Granted, the Death Eater series is the only one that I've literally wanted to collect all of them from. But I also didn't know at the very beginning that they were going to be doing multiple series of the wands. I literally thought when they first came out with wands that that was it. And then a series two came out, but then the series one was gone. I didn't collect all the wands from the series one. And then I tried to start collecting them in series two, and then all the series two wands were gone. And then three came out. I don't even know if I own a single wand from three, um, because during the time that that came out, there was a whole lot going on, so I didn't buy any wands. And then three went away, and now four and five are here, which are the Death Eaters and the Patronus or yeah, Patronus series. And I'm like, okay, so I haven't collected any of the Patronus series, but I have the Death Eaters. So I think I might, once I get all of the ones from Death Eaters, I think I might just get one of the Patronus ones and then call it a day. Because uh, uh, some of the ones on the Patronus ones are ones that I already have from series one. So I don't want to collect multiples of them just because they're from another series. I, To me, I think that's a little pointless. Actually, I think that's a lot of pointless because if it was only a little, I would still collect them. But I'm not going to because I think that you should. So, yeah. All right. Last wand. So you guys can stop hearing me talk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So this is the skull wand and I have this one, but I don't have this one. And let me t explain. Okay. So my first wizard run that I ever did in St. Louis. And if you don't know what a wizard run is, it is a, um, 3k there's, there's a mile and then there's a 3k and then, uh, I believe there's one above the 3k now, but it wasn't when I did the wizard run it was just only the mile and the 3k i did the 3k and when you sign up to do the wizard run you get a nice shirt that says wizard run and you get to choose whatever color that belongs to your house and then with that you get your number and a free uh, coupon for a butter beer and you get a wand okay the wands are way bigger than this this is super small in comparison and I could just tell you that right off the bat um and though the ones that you get I believe are made by hand by different people that are employed with a wizard run um and it's made out of a certain type of wood that they you know make their wands with but they're all like handmade wands this, I don't believe, is particularly handmade. I think this is like, you know, mass production machine type of made. Um, it's nice and heavy and sturdy. Um, but And it is detailed in the wood grain that it has there. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But yeah, it's very, very nice. But it's definitely smaller. <laughs> Um, like way smaller than the one that I have from the wizard run. I think the one I have from the wizard run is like, like that big in comparison. It's, it's really big. Um, but I, so I don't have this one in the wand series. So yes, in a sense, I do have a double, but the other one wasn't a Harry Potter wand. It was just someone replicated a Harry Potter wand and, sold it with a wizard run which I believe with you know their rights and however they did it but it, it was legal I got one um <laughs> but yeah so I don't have this one so now I have two of the four that I don't have and I still need two more 
And then here is the mask for that one. Which is super creepy, but not as creepy as I thought it was going to be uh, with a skull. Um, I don't think that these are matched great with it. Um, I was kind of thinking that it was going to be a lot creepier. I don't know. Um, maybe like one of the black and white masks is what I was thinking that it would um, have a stand with. But I appreciate how all the masks are different and unique to the wand. So I'm not going to complain too much on that. They're bent in a way to where it's making it really hard to put them inside of their... in there yeah yep it's in there all right and then so this one is a little loose it doesn't fit as snug but it could have something to do with how the tip is carved so let me scoot that up a little bit more there you go so there is the stand I thought that was pretty cool. So I got two of the four and now I just need two more. I need, I know for sure I need, um, Lucius Malfoy's wand. I know that is for sure one that I need, but I don't remember what the other one is that I need. I can't remember. And I don't have the paper next to me, so I can't even tell you. Um, but I, I do know there's one more. Because there's nine, and now I have just seven. So, yeah. But that's my video. Until next time, bye.